what is up everyone I've decided to video this hopefully short project I don't have a lot of room in my garage for my lures and I'll show you a quick view it's gonna be pretty rough so you know don't judge me here we go so I've got I've got an eBay store so I've got stuff you know kind of all over the place and if you're interested in anything and finding some stuff I got clothes I got toys I got all kinds of stuff. Got a little Timex watches here, shoes. Got a variety of stuff. And I moved all my fishing stuff for the most part. Let me flip this back around. For the most part, I moved all of my fishing stuff out of my shed. And so now I don't have room in my shed to do any kind of work on with, um, like on my kayak or anything like that. So I'm trying to, that's another project that's coming up hopefully really soon is. Um, kind of closing in my carport that it's going to be when it gets warm it's way too it's like 38 today it was 70 yesterday today in Nashville it's I think the high was 38 or something like that anyway so I'm going to do this little project that um, I'm hoping it'll it'll work and I'll um, hopefully I can video it good enough to you guys can see the progress on what I'm doing to get my lures um, basically more organized right now right now I've got most of them are just all up there the ones that aren't in my Xterra they're all just all over the place here they're in a bunch of Guggen boxes or um, Carl's boxes and I need to get those somewhere else it's just it's hard to get to them it's a pain to have to look through those all the time so I'm gonna do a little pegboard project here we go all right well hopefully you can see okay and you can hear okay from here so the plan was to just get some pegboard, put it up here on the wall or on my door that goes in my basement, and I just kind of kind of mount it there and there. But I may not be able to do that because it kind of fits right in between it, and I don't really have anywhere to nail or screw it. It's going to be hard for you to see that, but I may go if I have room. I'll go on top there, and then here. Let's see if I can get a screw there and a screw maybe just in the middle here. A couple here, one here and one here on the ends. You can see that. It's kind of hard to know it's white on white. Um, and I may not have to put my other board in between. I was going to, I was going to put a little piece of one by two at the top here somewhere. And then, then I would just set my pegboard on top of that. But I don't know if I'm going to need it now. Um, as I look at it, I think I may be able to just put a couple screws there, a couple screws down here, and it's not going to be that heavy. And I'll um, show you once I get to that point. All right, so I picked up single peg hooks. I'll show you these. I'll get those out. I had to scrounge around for screws because... Let me stand up. <laughs> Had to scrounge around for screws because all my stuff's out in my garage, down the shed. So anyway, um, I should have some screws that'll fit that won't be too long. I don't want to go through all the way through my door, obviously. And these are just the single pegs. And as I was standing there doing math in Home Depot, I was thinking, man, if I get, you know, if I just buy a four pack of pegs, I'm only going to be able to get four bags of you know worms on a peg and then I realized oh wait these are pretty long I'd probably get at least five bags on each one of these these are two inch so hopefully I can get a nice chunk on there and get the screws on get this thing up so I'm in there scrounging around for screws and I forgot to have like a whole you know like a utility assortment of screws and anchors and everything just sitting up on the shelf so we're gonna use these I don't think I'll need the washer I think they're gonna fit just perfect so
not too floppy. It's going to be good. Obviously, I won't be able to insert anything. It's going to be hard to see. Hang on a second. So I won't be able to hang anything in there unless I, you know, unless I drill holes in the door and then so that I can actually get the um, the peg hooks to kind of go in. But let's see. There we go. I can put these at any point in here that I want. Oh, there we go. Line them up, and then I'm gonna put my put my lures up here. Obviously, again, it won't go like that. I'd have to drill holes because the support for the door, oops, the support for the door is in there. But I don't think that'll be a big deal. Most of them are gonna go up here. So I'm gonna play around a little bit with this just to see kind of where these should go. I think my camera's crooked. Mm -hmm. play around with them to see where they'll go so that I can know like how far I need to space them away from each other. I only have a total of 20 of these right now so I'm probably just going to put you know three or four plastics on each hook so I don't have to really worry about spacing them too far or too close together. Let's see what that looks like. On. They're obviously not going to hang straight, uh, especially these because they got most of them are on leaning to one side. But all right, I'm gonna get on it. I'll catch you up when I get them all on there. All right, here we go. I got it done. Let's see what we got here. So this is most of them. <laughs> I still have a few more here and there that I'm working on. So for now, what I've done, because it, it doesn't feel too, it's a little crowded in the middle here, but I'll work on that and space these things out a little better. But up here, what I did was just regular plastic worms, basic ones anyway. I went by color, so kind of the greenish browns are there. And then here, I just put the lunker log there because I wasn't sure exactly where to put it. I may move it somewhere else and then I've got my swim baits here and I've got like flukes and paddle tails here then I went by a sort of color here I've got most of these are kind of browns instead of up here I've got more greens at least that's what I started with anyway and here I got creature baits in the middle I'm file cross got the big worm over here the mondo and a lot of havocs those are all there those are all different colors I just decided to put all the havocs in the same place and then these are the newer man's original jelly worms I don't know if you can see that very well and there's multiple colors on this this is one of my favorites kind of the like a black and red there's a green Kind of a motor oil at least that was the original color they're calling it pumpkin now i think originally it was called motor oil it's got the fluorescent tail and then this is a new one that i got that it says june bug so it's like that blue with some green flake uh, flakes in it mm -hmm. and then here i just put some hooks you know my helgramites these huge zuchi or zuki zuchi bugs i guess is how you say that i don't know those things are massive then here I've got jigs, spinner baits, a little scout there. I've got crankbaits, got two things for crankbaits, and then I got top water over here. So I got the blooper and some other top waters back there. So that's going to be kind of round one. I can already see I'm probably going to have to have more, but I've got so many in like my tackle boxes and tackle bags right now. This is a good place just for extras, and then I'll just take out of the containers and then I put them in you know my tackle as I go I don't usually put you know a whole bag of Havocs you know in a tackle bag so we'll see hopefully it'll work out good 
So I don't know if this will be one video all by itself or if I'll do I'll add this in with something else. Still trying to get out and fish. Like I said, the weather's been stupid. And I tried fishing a while back and it had nothing. So I gotta find another spot, get a little more creative and get out there. So I will catch y'all hopefully on the water.